X Harper, WWE 2K19, welcome to yet another video live on YouTube. So, it happened last night, you can see in the top right corner, you can see in sort of the middle upper left side of the screen, my rank is now DIAMOND! The big D, that's right, I did it. Thanks to all of you lovely people out there downloading my content. Thank you so, so much for everything you've done. I have been shocked each day watching that counter slowly and surely rise. And within like, I don't know, two weeks it's been since release. To get 10,000 downloads is something that um, I personally hoped would happen. I I'd set myself some little goals before I started creating content this year. And um, some of the stuff I was saying was that I would love to be a diamond rank within two weeks. Like, I would love it so much if I knew that my content was being used and downloaded within such a short space of time of release. Last year, it was a much slower build for me to get. I think it took me maybe a month or a month and a half even. I've maxed out most of my content that I could possibly make. and. Like I said, I hope that you guys like it. So what I want to do now is just show you around the content that I've already got. <clears throat> show you how all that's doing. But then also show you the newest content that I've uploaded. Which can be downloaded by you guys whenever you want from this moment on. Now, let's go through these arenas again, shall we? Starcade 97. So to explain, I did a, I did a 1997 WCW pack of arenas. That was like what I decided at the beginning of the game. I just, I wanted to pick a year that meant a lot to me in kind of 14, 13, 14. And I was just getting back into being a fan of the business again. Like I love wrestling, but I, with other things going on in my life, it didn't take priority. But once I hit sort of high school in England, um, it just became a priority again. I met new friends who really loved it and had it as like their favorite hobby and pastime. And because I loved it, I was like, oh, I didn't know that it was normal and okay for people to like wrestling so much. So I then started hanging out with those guys. And, and from then on, I really started getting back into wrestling. So from sort of 97, 90, the end of 96, all the way through um, till probably the mid 2000s, I just fell in love with the business and have, and have watched it ever since. And for the last five to ten years, I've been off of it, but I've been buying the games, obviously. So I still keep an eye on it. I know who the wrestlers are. I'm not a big fan of the the current product, although I do think it's getting a lot better from what I can see now. The more I'm getting back into it, the more I'm seeing that there's a lot more potential there than there was perhaps five to ten years ago. So I made this pack, and uh, you can see Starcade 97... World War 3 1997, Fall Brawl 1997, The Great American Bash 1997, Slamboree 1997. Then you've got Bash at the Beach 96, which was obviously the start of the NWO, the inauguration of the, the NWO starting. So I, I always put that in there, up the road, Wild 97. And this year as well, I wanted to throw in some different arenas from different brands. There's a guy called uh, Skunky Pants on Twitter who's a phenomenal creator for ECW arenas. But I just wanted to try them. I wanted to give it a go, see how I did. And um, I really enjoyed the process. Like, this was very challenging to get some of the fonts for the aprons, to get the logos, to make and build logos myself from scratch. It was a lot of fun to do that. And now that it's in the game, I think that the feedback I'm getting from you guys with the amount of downloads I'm getting... Um, is really justifying the work that I put in. And I really appreciate that because I, I, I'm not trying to encroach on Skunky Pants at all. I say it every time. I really love his work and I think he's way better than than I am, specifically at ECW arenas. But I just wanted to give it a go and I think I've done a pretty good job. So then SummerSlam 95, that was that was me just saying, here I am making all this WCW content and there I am leaving out the good old WWF. Good old Vincent Kennedy McMahon's old business. So I just picked a couple. Like I randomly picked these ones. So there was SummerSlam 95, which is one of my favorite arenas that I've created. 
Um, barely legal 97, you can ignore. That was a, another ECW one that was a bit late. Then there was Royal Rumble 1994. Again, this was just, this was one that I had a VHS of. Me, you know, it was a bit more personal because I love that Royal Rumble. It's the, the one Royal Rumble where there was a draw at the end. And honestly, Brett and Lex Luger sold the finish perfectly. I don't think they could have done it better if they'd have tried again. Because they, they actually did it where both feet touched the floor at exactly the same time of both competitors. It is just so well done. And where if they'd have messed that up, it would have ruined had to have been declared a winner. So whether they just hid the cameras that maybe showed who the winner was, I'm pretty sure that they showed the camera perfectly. Because when you look at the replays, both feet, all four feet are touching the floor at the same time. It's incredible to watch. It's actually just a really fun segment for me. And it was something different, you know, for Raw Rumble finishes. It was good to see it be a bit more controversial. Um, and not actually just a clean win, but actually a debate. Something that may, left you sort of uneasy about it, but you knew you had to come back and watch whatever was going to happen next to find out who won, how they were going to decide... So I love Royal Rumble 94. King of the Ring 1998, that was actually one that, again, I just challenged myself with. Found out a really cool way of doing the lighting and the entrance way. Just did it. I, that was also the first uh, arena where I did my own ring apron design from scratch. So the, the ring aprons on that look immensely cool. Really proud of that one. And what I mean by that, by the way, is not the logo. Obviously, I've created all the logos for this stuff on all of my arenas. But with this one, I used like the 2000 by 2000 um, logo uploader, whatever that is. It's the really thin rectangular one. And the reason is it's purpose built for ring aprons. So I used that for the first time. It came out looking beautiful. I was really pleased with it. Enjoy that. I, it's already had 60 downloads. You can see that of that selection of five, it is by far and away the most popular, and I'm not surprised. To the point that somebody's copied it and used it on a WrestleMania arena, and uh, bless them, they didn't know that I was actually planning on doing exactly the same thing. So I'll go into that a little bit later. Survivor Series 98, there was already... I forgot that every year they put the skull from Survivor Series 98 on here. But actually what happened was I randomly picked it and then saw it and was like, oh, they make the entrance in game. So actually I'm going to have an even more authentic arena because I probably wouldn't have made this if the game didn't include the skull simply because I wouldn't have been able to do it justice by not having the actual skull on the entrance way. But I created the logo myself. From scratch, fat to find the font for Survivor Series, added the red flames behind, added the WE Attitude logo in front. It took a long time to create, but it's paying off. It's getting loads of downloads. Finally, Super Brawl 97. This was a request. And actually, King of the Ring was a request um, from one of the users. I'm sorry if I just said otherwise. It was a request from, from a user. They, they said, could we have... King of the Ring 98, and I just said, yeah, I'm going to try it, and I enjoyed the challenge. And Super Brawl 97 was the same. I had another request on Twitter. Somebody messaged me and just sort of said, hey, do you take requests? And I'm like, this isn't karaoke, but it's absolutely fine. Of course, I'll I'll do it if you challenge me to the right thing. And they, they gave me a list of three or four WCW ones, and Super Brawl was one that I was going to do. I was going to attempt that, but actually when I when I got the message, this was the one that really motivated me, and that thanks to that person, um, I then uploaded Super Brawl 97, ended up creating loads of logos for it, loads of elements. Um, let's move on anyway. So the next one is what I alluded to earlier after the King of the Ring. I wanted to make my own WrestleMania 14 arena. I'm going to show you this because this is new content. This is brand new. This was out as of like just after midnight midnight this morning. And as you can see, I've managed to find, believe it or not, an actual font that allows me to type out WrestleMania. It, and it, it does it in the exact style of WrestleMania. So I've, again, used those logos there. I've created, I've recreated, and I think I'm the first person to do this, certainly with high res. Um, I've uploaded the WWF logo 
PNG logo that can sit with it. And then obviously I use the whole apron um, idea to create the WrestleMania aprons. So that's WrestleMania 14. Again, what you can see is I've used the entrance way from King of the Ring. But what I've done differently, which you need to take note of, I've the other guy who's made this arena did a really lazy job. And I, I don't want to put the guy down or the girl down, but they did a really lazy job because they just copy and pasted my arena. But they didn't actually go back and look at the original WrestleMania 14 arena. If you look at the original, the entranceway is actually not straight on to the ramp and the stage area. It's actually to the side, further towards the corner. So what I did was I've moved it to the corner as much as I possibly can. Unfortunately, you can't rotate the entrance way. So I've just had to move it, even though it's, it's, it's basically straight, it's not at an angle, but I've moved it as far as I can. And that looks really authentic and real. I just wish there was a way of adding a little ramp up into the black circle so that it looked like a perfect entrance way but hey that's me being me so that's wrestlemania 14 the newest arena after wrestlemania 14 is wrestlemania 1 and 2 gosh these were hard um i really wanted to just try the old school ones because with the new visuals that you can give to arenas i wanted to really have an attempt at authenticity and see if I could recreate the high contrast, low lighting effect of the original WrestleMania 1 and 2. So I tried that. I hope you like what's come out of it. I think I've played loads of matches already. I don't use them in my universe mode. I use them on the normal play mode. But I've actually found myself recreating lots of old wrestling matches just because I love the look and the feel of it, it's come out really nice. I know it all looks weird, but when you, seriously, seriously, when you play the arena, it, especially WrestleMania, because I've done the contrast as much as I can, honestly, it really looks and feels like you're at WrestleMania. It's a great arena. Really, really proud of that one. And then WrestleMania 2, I may go back and re-upload this because I, I should really do the same contrast as I did to... WrestleMania, but I did contrast high, but not as high as I should have, basically. So it's still dark, and it still looks very much like it did at WrestleMania 2, but I think it could look a little bit, a little bit better. But, um, hey, it looks great. I love it. I had to create the whole uh, WrestleMania 2 aprons, which was a lot of fun. The only thing I was disappointed with, I had to use leather on the backdrop apron. So the black apron that you see, that was leather material, which it just, it's leather. You know, it looks textured. I wish I could have just used cloth, but for some reason, the cloth doesn't come out as a true black. So I need another material that gave me that true to life black look, which is exactly what the leather did. So that's my newest three arenas, along with all the others. You can see they're all doing pretty well. I'm very happy with them all. This is the main part of my content. So if you think, why is he blabbing on for 10 minutes about this? It's because I love arenas. This is what I specialize in. This is what I'm really priding myself on as a creator in WWE 2K19. So I really appreciate all the love that they're getting. Now, let's move on. Images, I'm going to just quickly scan through for you. Take a look yourself. I've been through all of these before in other videos anyway. Uh, the LWO logo, I will say, is doing unbelievably well. That really took me by surprise, creating that into a PNG and then putting it on here. It seems to have done really well. By the way, it looks stunning on clothing. It looks really high res and beautiful on clothing. Now, the new ones I've added in the images, uh, ECW Hardcore Wrestling, a logo that I made from scratch. Uh, SummerSlam, I used, I found a great PNG for the SummerSlam, but then I used uh, my own creation for the, the actual WF logo, put that on and gave it the same color effect. Super Brawl, this is, this is like the, the bog standard, you know, just the, the generic Super Brawl logo. So I've created that. You guys can create your own Super Brawl arena now. Um, but I haven't used the authentic 7 or 8 or 9 or whatever iteration it is that you happen to be playing. So this is just a generic one for you. But it is based on the real life 
logo that they used as like their generic Super Brawl logo. There's the Survivor Series logo. I don't know what's happened with those bits of white. Um, they've just appeared. It's something that WE 2K need to answer for because I haven't done anything that I know that would have added that. But for some reason, the game has decided to add those dashes of white above and below. But look, it still looks like a great logo. It it kind of hides it really well. In fact, if I go to the preview, that may help. But you can see like, yes, they're there. But the rest of the logo looks so good that I, I, for me, I just didn't notice it. Um, I just don't understand why it's been brought up. But anyway, another thing I did, I found the font for November 2. Remember that I use on my ECW arena. And I just, I uploaded it because it's a really nice high-res font. And I just want people to enjoy that. If I, I want to encourage people to create more ECW arenas. There's only Skunky Pants and basically myself who've ever, who seem to do it. And ECW is a great brand, so I want to bring it back. And I'm I'm going to be in introducing more ECW content if I can because it's just a fun brand. And I always use it on my universe mode. So for me, it's definitely useful. So we've looked at arenas. Championships, to be honest, there's nothing new from what I've already got. My uh, television, ECW television title, my WCW television title, they're belts that you should check out. They're doing really well, particularly the ECW one, obviously excluded from the game this year. Also, the universal tag titles that I always create is climbing and doing a lot better. And as you can see, ECW Cruiserweight belt that I created for my universe mode, that's also doing really well now. Glad to see that on the rise. Then we've got three more that I added, but the ECW Hardcore title is the one that I would recommend to you. Uh, I created another one, and to be honest, I looked at it and I was just like, nah, I'm not feeling that. It doesn't look authentic enough so i had another go and did a different one i'm a lot happier with the new one and already it's got double downloads money in the bank money in the bank is money in the bank like for some reason everybody loves this wcw one it's so plain so but whatever i mean i'm not complaining you guys like it it's there the ecw one's doing quite well um, I'm assuming people are obviously seeing that and wanting to use it for their brand. It's my favourite one because it's got the bumpy steel look to it, so it really looks like a genuine ECW kind of briefcase. The rest of them are just generics, and I'm happy with them, but I'm a minimal thinker when it comes to design, so I don't like clutter. Now, in terms of the shows, I have literally mimicked all of the got on the game. So all the arenas are on here. Now, what I've done differently is I've added all the actual show logos from each year. So that's the only difference you'll notice between the logos that you see in the arena section and the ones that you see in the show section. So November to Remember looks different to the green and yellow one. That's because for some reason they use this one on the poster, but the green one um, was used on the apron. Hardcore Heaven's the same. They used a different sort of logo for the the posters and the branding but then they used a different logo and set of textures on the arena itself slamboree made that one from scratch based on the original that took me forever but i think i'm really happy with that one actually it's done really well uh, survivor series is up you can see that that's obviously the show so that's the same logo for all rumble I had to edit that slightly to get it right super brawl 7 is different you can see I created that based on the one that I saw in the arena itself. Same with Barely Legal. King of the Ring, I had to recreate that whole logo to make it a PNG file. Um, but also just to make it look as authentic as possible. So I've done that. WrestleMania, well, all these are on the game. They're there. They're ready for you to download if you want them. You've seen the arenas. I think you'll agree they look pretty cool. Finally, move sets. I haven't added any move sets. So I'm just going to go over the content that I've had before. Goldberg's doing really well. Stone Cold Steve Austin's doing really well. Um, Eddie Guerrero's now got two, which is great. Randy Savage had a good um, move set. I played with Randy Savage at... Feels really good, actually. I, what I love about move sets is that when you're playing with a character, there is nothing better than feeling that little moment of surprise when you just do one of these really small moves that they always used to do. When you, you know, when you watch them as a kid and you remember the nostalgia of watching them, there's nothing better 
than just doing these little scoop slams or a little suplex or some sort of lockup or some sort with with Randy Savage I tell you what it was it was the back rake when he did the back rake to one of his opponents it just completely took me back to the days of WCW in when he was in the NWO and he just became this really dirty heel and started doing dirty moves so when he did that back scratch, it took me right back. So I was just like, this is cool now. I actually feel like I'm playing as the actual wrestler. And more so than just playing, I feel like I'm watching the author. Um, so I encourage you download those. They're really fun move sets. And they just make the game more authentic. So um, that's I'm going to go back for you just to quickly show you everything I've done. Because you're live and you're watching. And that's really nice of you. Thank you. As you can see, I've just hit diamond rank. That happened last night. Really proud, but thankful for all of you guys for downloading the content. Going through everything that I've... Oh, I missed. Of all the areas I missed, I've actually added a few cores for the first time ever. I'm not very good at cores. I'm, I'm just going to tell you that immediately. Um, let's go through these. I usually just duplicate. So, Carmen with Stafford, I duplicated and edited his attire. That's mine. Booker T did the same. The giant Fatu, I obviously just took Rikishi and made him Fatu. Uh, the Disciple, I took Brutus Beefcake and made him the Disciple. Uh, Hunter Hurst Helmsley, that's my ECW character that I use. I always go back to his old etiquette days of, you know, being the blue blood. And I throw him in my ECW universe. Um, Owen Hart was a great one that I, I actually am now following the creator of that on Twitter as of yesterday. Um, Dr. Gorilla Nuts, which I, I just love that handle. He created that one, did a stunning job. All I did was re-edit the hair colour and a little bit of the entrance attire. I gave him like an Owen 316 t-shirt um, and a leather jacket, which is what he wore when he was like tag teaming with the Hart Foundation and Bret Hart and um, Bulldog and all that stuff. Ghost is my own. That's my core. That's the guy I use in my player. That's the character I made. So the, for, for the first time this year, um, I've uploaded him and just letting people upload him if they want. In fact, I'll show you that because I use the Shawn Michaels attire with NWO logos over. I actually really wish Shawn Michaels would have had that when he was in the NWO. I thought that I always think those pants look really cool. I also love the the effect that I use for his mask in the entrance way as well with the NWO logo over the top. Looks really cool to me, which is why it's my character. Uh, Farouk is the first guy that I've ever done from face scan all the way through. He actually looks a lot better in the game itself. So don't be deceived by the the thumbnails. Do not do justice to these characters. That's the first thing I'll say. Farouk actually looks really good. When I go into the game with him and play as Farouk, and I did this with a tag team with the Nation of Domination a couple of days ago, I thought Farouk looked really great. In fact, he does look great, it, which is probably why people are downloading him. D'Lo is one of the guys who's not done justice. It doesn't look like D'Lo that much. I accept that. I think that there's a couple of issues with the face scan from D'Lo that I just couldn't work through. You know, I'm new to it, so I just couldn't get it sorted. Basically, he looks too old. That's the problem that I've got. He's got, like, wrinkles under his eyes that shouldn't be there. And it's just part of the face scan texture that I used. He's got these slight discolorations of lighting and shadowing. And it's just really been overemphasized by the game. And it just ruins that part of his face. I actually think if you took out the parts under his eyes, it would look a lot more like D'Lo Brown. But anyway, it still looks good. When he first comes out to his entrance, you will take a double take and think it is him. That's what happened to me the first time. But then after that, you realize it doesn't really look like him, but it's still not a bad design. Next is RVD. Now, RVD I did yesterday. This one's the most, the newest one that I've actually done. And again, I've got to give credit here to the person who created the model. So I'm just going to go to the details. So at G Dorsey, that is the person who created this RVD in, in terms of the model. And I really like it. I thought it looked great. But the problem was they didn't use any of the elements that look real from his ECW days. Um, his attire was just made out of like the tattoo and the design elements that the game gives you. And his knee pads didn't connect to the boots and it all just didn't look quite right. The, it wasn't the right black. The 
the sort of bandages that he has on his hands, they weren't the right ones. And his hair colour was like... he's For some reason, people think that he was a redhead. He's not a redhead, people. If anything, he's got like an ash blonde hair colour. So I just went and changed all those things, changed the elements, put his actual attire on the game that I managed to find in my computer from years ago. So it's not a very good RVD um, design for his outfit, but it'll do for now. And it's getting good downloads, like that's my newest one, so I'm really shocked that that's had so many downloads um, overnight. And then finally, Road Dog Jesse James. Road Dog I just tried to make. I was fed up of not having him on my universe mode. Some guy did a great badass billy gun and I loved it, but with no road dog, what am I supposed to do? So I found my own face scan of road dog and had a go. This to me is as good as um, Farouk, you know, it's like 85% accurate to the, the real life guy. I've changed it a little bit. I've given him fake tattoos, like they're just in-game tattoos. They, they're not the real tattoos that he had. I'm not that into Road Dog to go and find them and then create them. But he's on there. He feels authentic. He needs a move set. He needs an entrance and all that stuff. But once you've done it, you'll know that he looks great. Um, so that's it, I think. Now that we've done all those, I'm gonna, just going to give you a very brief rundown of what I'm going to do. Um, basically, while this is updating, I'll tell you and then we'll finish. What I'm looking to do is add some more arenas. I should have mentioned this the other day, but what I want to do here is something exciting for you guys as fans. I want to give you guys the opportunity to send me your requests for arenas that you would like me to recreate. Now, I am going to put some restrictions on this. I would like it to only be um, from WE, WF, WCW, ECW, so I'm not going to do any NWA stuff. I don't know enough about all the independents. I don't watch Ring of Honor. I don't watch um, TNA. I don't watch um, Progress or anything like that. I know they exist and I know what they are, but I don't know enough about them and I wouldn't do them justice, approach other people for that. But if you want some of like the Attitude Era style stuff, that's what I'm interested in creating. Maybe some of the sort of early 90s, late 80s WWF content as well. So let me know. Get in touch with me. Hit me up on Twitter. It's at xharperco. If it's IG, it's at xharper.co. But hit me up. Let me know. And um, what we'll do is I'll take a look at the requests and I'll pick one and make one. And then it might just be that yours is the one that I create and then you can download it and be really happy about that. But yeah, I'm saving a few slots. I have actually got um, an ECW arena that I created. Basically, I used um, Barely Legal as a template. I'm gonna upload that right now in, very, in front of your very eyes. You're gonna get to see an upload. So what I did, I took Barely Legal, I skinned it back changed it to a weekly episodic ECW arena that I that I saw and then as you can see I'm uploading it now and I just made it I'm going to use it as part of my weekly ECW universe mode so I'm going to put that on there um, for everyone to use right now you're going to get to see all my hashtags and stuff that I handle and how I do it the reason I do WWF one reason, selfishly, is that it gets more downloads than ECW. Um, the other reason that I actually do it is that it's in that time period. It was in the same sort... Of, well, it was in the same time period as the WWF, so I like to do that. Sometimes I put... And there's no WE term for that. Uh, sometimes I end up putting different things on there, like... For example, what I'll probably do now is put WCW because it was part of, this was all part of the Monday Night Wars for me. So that's what I've done. I upload it and then you guys can download it. So what that means is, unfortunately, is that I've now got less uh, space to be able to create an arena for you guys, the people. However, with that said, if ECW isn't popular, I will take it off and replace it with a request. Or the same with any of these other arenas. If something isn't working well or getting good downloads, I will probably barely legal will be next to go. Um, I'll replace it and then that frees up a slot for you guys to give me your recommendations. So do that. I hope you've enjoyed this little sort of rundown of all my content. Again, 
one final thank you i'm at diamond rank now thank you so much to everybody who's downloaded a piece of my content so far i hope that you're enjoying it as much as i am creating it keep using it keep downloading it tell people about what i've created please share it get the word out there if you know people who love wcw then send it to them tell them to search x harper and find me as a creator on the game and upload everything that i've got download everything i've got sorry enjoy it uh, and again thank you i'm going to release some other videos later i'm going to go through a couple of the cores that i've created probably give you a bit more of a breakdown on how i've created them and the process that i've gone through i'd also love to show you um, the arenas and also my universe mode i'm working heavily on that at the moment which is why i'm releasing less videos there's loads of stuff that's going to be coming out in universe mode soon so keep your eyes out for that thank you so much i'm x harper and you are awesome thank you so much and until next time whoop, whoop.